All right, from Turkey. I'm sick of being called a delusional conspiracy theorist by my family and my lady. He said, I live in the Republic of Turkey. Maybe you've heard that there was a coup here last year. Yes, I did. Uh, I put it in quotation because it was the most pathetic attempt in Turkish history. Um, So it didn't go down like the Ukraine. Um, Long conspiracy short, your guys were losing control of our guys whom they installed here to have a nice little proxy to to the lovely oil desert downtown. Desert's downtown. I already love how this person is thinking. Uh, So they try to pull the carpet from under our guys because God knows they can't pass aggression wars in your Congress anymore since you American citizens are woke as fuck now, thankfully. I guess we're not because I don't know what any of this means. By the way, you don't write like you're from Turkey, like this is your second language. You're using like really high level slang for someone who lives on the other side of the world. Um, anyways, this pathetic coup attempt created a lot of turmoil here. I mean, it would be less destructive if it succeeded, because now through their paranoia, they are going full ape shit, which turns Turkey to a bittersweet heaven for a conspiracy theorist like myself with all the stuff going on. Um, all right, well, I'm, there's no fucking way I'm reading your name so you don't end up in a jail if you actually are from Turkey. Um, I can deal with my family's indifference to all this and my friends are most likely are most like me regarding these subjects. But the fact that my girl stonewalls me goes, "Mm, yeah, doll. Okay. Really annoys me down deep. Of course it does. Anytime you're passionate about an opinion and somebody just goes, oh, really? Okay, sweetheart. Forget about if it's, if, if it's a woman that you have feelings for, um, She is a totally dope chick in every other aspect. Dude, you're not from Turkey. You're not from Turkey, but I'll I'll continue with this. Fun to hang out. Hates the movies and music I hate. Has C-cup fun pillows that were sculpted by God himself for my palms. But I can't help lose respect for her when it comes to her not giving a single shit about politics and stuff. She's convinced she doesn't get affected by them for some reason, and it doesn't matter. I'm curious how you dealt with this feeling. Also, I'm very interested in how you reach information about the world and what news outlets you trust. Uh, From Turkey, with love to you and Nia. Uh, All right, well, let's say you're from Turkey. Very impressive, your English and your slang. You're actually better at my language than I am. Um, All right, here's what you have to understand as a conspiracy theorist is that you're you're really uh you're a lot to deal with and you really wear people out this is what i learned when i went down the rabbit hole which i got out of a good two three years ago is that as much as you don't trust what the fuck people are telling you which is really common sense and i'm not saying there's a bunch of fucking crazy people living under a mountain pulling the strings. But what I'm saying is that everybody is spinning the shit because everybody has their own agenda. So you can't, you don't like, if you just, if you fucking showed up to a two car accident, okay, both people are going to spin it in a way. Even if one person was a hundred percent right, they're still going to spin it. So there's no fucking way that, you know, they can be perceived they're going to spin it just because the other person is spinning, just to offset their spinning of it. It's like listening to that whole fucking Russia tapped into, uh, you know, hacked into our shit. You're going to listen to the Democrats spinning it, the Republicans spinning it, the CIA spinning it, and then fucking Russia, their spin on it. So well, at the end of it, who the fuck knows what happened? I, I just love how our country is acting like we don't spy on Russia. And we don't try to influence elections around the fucking world. And we haven't placed people in power, taken people out and all of that. It's fucking hilarious. All of a sudden it happens to us and it's a big goddamn tragedy. So um, I would say uh, respect the fact that she's not into politics. I'm envious of people that can then, you know, I kind of did that after a while. Like after a while, it's just like you're screaming into a tornado. All right. It's way bigger than you are. Um, there are people out there that have the ability and the influence to fucking, I guess, turn shit around. But I'm not that guy. I'm just some fucking guy ruining your beer at a bar by bringing all my delusional, 
paranoid fucking thoughts, whether I'm right or not, which I was probably right on a few things, like Mel Gibson in that movie where he drove the taxi cab. I was probably right about a few fucking things, but I don't know what they are. So all you're doing is just annoying the shit out of people. And I have to be honest with you, if your girl actually loves you and she's to the point of responding of, "Mm, yeah, doll, okay, I think you've probably worn her down. I bet she didn't say that in the beginning. She probably listened to it and you probably freaked her out and you don't have a solution. You're just saying all this fucking shit that's just going to ruin her day. So maybe that's her defense mechanism. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm not being, a, I'm not going Dr. Phil here and just siding with the woman because I, I don't have a female audience unlike that fucking dishonest cunt, right? You need to do what she says. Woo! <laughs> When you look, ladies, when you look at Dr. Phil, when you honestly look at that man, do you see somebody, do you honest, do you not see how volatile a human being that guy is? Can you just imagine living with that man when he loses his, his shit? Just imagine that semi-bald head and face just beat red screaming at you. His spittle getting caught in his mustache. Just imagine that. And he's a big man too. Okay. I'm telling you. I know he's got that southern drawl, and you just think everybody's a fucking gentleman. You know, the way women love a foreign fucking accent. I guess guys like it, too. I don't know. I I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get back to this guy. Um, To lose respect for the fact that somebody's not into what the fuck you're into is, uh, that's a sign, you know, it'd be one thing if she just didn't give a fuck about, uh, I don't know. I'd have to know who the fuck she was. That could just be a defense mechanism where it's just like, whatever, it doesn't affect my life. You know, I've done that with global warming and all of that type of shit. I've just started to block it out because there's nothing I can do to get people to, I don't, and I don't even know what the, I don't even know what the fucking solution is. The only solution I have is to fucking exterminate most of us, 90% of us, and then just fucking everybody sits in a ball and hopes that uh, everything that we've put into the earth and into the air kind of goes away after a while. <laughs> that's the only solution I have, which I don't think that that's going to work. So um, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I, I try to fucking do whatever the fuck I can do, which is, you know, I don't know. See, dude, this is why people don't like... See, you, you literally bringing this up has brought me to a dark fucking place. And your email alone just told me that... Just got me to say that we need to exterminate 90% of the people on the fucking planet. How insane is that? How are you going to do that, Bill? Are you going to do that to babies too? Or you are not going to do babies, but you're going to kill all those fucking parents? And then what? You're going to have the most giant fucking nursery? Like it, all, it all unravels. The whole fucking thing. That's why I kind of stopped doing the conspiracy theory thing, even though I still throw it out there because it's fun. And I, and I also don't believe a fucking word anybody's telling me um, when it comes to that shit. You know, one-on-one, you know, if I sat down with somebody and there's not cameras around, then I feel like they can really be honest with me. But the second you're on TV, you know, there's, you, there's only so honest you can be. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I would probably guess that on some level you're a lot to be around during certain news stories and uh i think you should lighten up a little bit take your girlfriend out go get a fucking ice cream and enjoy the fact that someone as beautiful as you're saying is she is actually can tolerate you and your your fucking theories all right Having said that, if I ever go to Turkey, I'll definitely have a beer with you and i'll fucking i'll i'll go fucking toe for toe with you <laughs> with conspiracy theories. Um, All right. And thank you for listening to the podcast.